Hey, this is Stu, and I'm here to tell you all about what's new in Optical Glow. Now, this is an update to Optical Glow, but just a little reminder of why we love Optical Glow. If I take the built-in After Effects Glow and just apply it to this text, you can see the beginnings of something that looks a bit like a glow, but if I wanted to, say, increase the radius of it, you can see it falls apart pretty quick. Uh, it doesn't seem to be adding much to the apparent sort of visual brightness of this, and it's hard to find settings that look equally good on thick lines and thin lines. You know, I hate picking on poor old glow. It's one of the oldest and most venerable effects in After Effects, but Optical Glow came along last year and really represents our beautiful, realistic glow that has a beautiful fall off and works equally well on small details as it does on large things. Uh, I can take the size here and increase it, and you know, it just looks gorgeous. It still keeps a nice hot edge, and it's a true HDR effect, so it's creating overbright pixels, all the good stuff. So what could we possibly do to improve it? Well, the biggest thing that we did was we added this beautiful new Radiate control. Radiate takes this beautiful glow and gives it some sense of directionality. And Radiate has a center, of course, so you can grab that and move it around. Now, you might be saying, is that a little bit like Trap Code Shine? And sure, maybe it is a bit, but the thing is, this isn't trying to replace Shine because it isn't just about doing streaks. In fact, it's really just about kind of giving you a more dimensional quality to the glow. Let's uh, take a look at this footage here. So here's just some footage of a car driving down a bridge. And if I apply optical glow to this, well, first of all, the whole thing lights up, but that's okay because we've got this nice highlights only control. So I'll just sort of crank that up until we're just getting the headlights. What's really fun about this, of course, is I can colorize it. We'll crank up the size. And I got a nice little glow happening here. So if I take a radiate center and move it to kind of the vanishing point of the perspective of this scene, and then just slowly turn up radiate, you can see I'm starting to give the headlights a little bit of directionality. And what's nice is the size control still works. So I can still kind of crank up the size and it creates just this nice sense of this kind of forward looking glow. And that plays really well over time as well. So that's the idea behind Radiate. Sometimes you just want to give your glow just a little bit of a kind of spatial quality. Really cool for titles, but also really cool for a lot of VFX applications. And of course, uh, you know, all the beautiful kind of color things work too. So if I change the color of one of the letters here, you can see that like the color mixing is all beautiful because it's all done in the correct linear color space based on what your uh, footage is and all that good stuff. The other thing that we've added Nothing's more boring than a white glow. We've added size by channel. So we always had the ability to essentially control the amount by channel by using this colorize control. Colorize does just an overall beautiful uh, tint. It is still extremely useful and awesome. The other kind of fun thing actually, while we're here in the color controls that haven't changed, inner tint and outer tint take on a bit of a more exciting uh, meaning when you think about uh, using them in conjunction with radiate. So if I tint the inner orange, maybe the outer like a little bit blue i get this kind of nice quality of like this inner orangey glow so radiate and inner and outer work really nicely together and that's that's all just the stuff that's been there since the beginning the other thing though that we wanted to add was so you've got the ability to have different amounts of glow per channel just by using colorize but what about different sizes of glow the size of the glow is you know something that we set with a single slider here but we've also got the red, green, and blue size by channel. And these are always active, you don't have to use them, but if you want to give your glow a little bit of a chromatic effect, you could try, say for instance, reducing the red size and increasing the blue, and play with these values a little bit, and you get this nice, again, kind of sense of like, a little bit of a chromatic quality of it. This is all just using white text as the input here. So if you step through the channels, you can see red, size is different than green, is different than blue, and the result kind of adds up to this chromatic effect, which is really nice. The other thing we've done is we've changed the control that used to allow you to either stretch the glow horizontally, vertically, or both, and now we let you do that uh, using sliders. So if you uncheck uniform size, you get size X and size Y. And so you can, for instance, have a nice glow that stretches out in one direction or the other, but you don't have to give up that kind of slight, you know, instead of having it be zero in Y, which looks a little artificial, you can just set it to a lower value in Y. You still have this nice sense of like a super streaky cool glow, but it isn't so one dimensional. In fact, believe it or not, 
this uh, size X, size Y works really well with Radiate. So we can crank up Radiate now, and we can get now a really cool, beautiful, rich and optical looking effect. Look at that crazy, beautiful, kind of almost rainbow kind of coloration there. And that's all just happening organically from the difference in size in X and Y and the Radiate control working together. And of course, Optical Glow is also built into the flagship VFX Suite tool, SuperComp. So all of these changes you'll find there as well. So that's it. A small but I think very important upgrade to one of my favorite effects that we released in VFX Suite, Optical Glow.